Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at the brand new Epiphone Noel Gallagher Riviera Signature Guitar. Before I tell you about this very cool semi hollow, take a second to subscribe below. Thanks very much. So Noel Gallagher has had a long relationship with Epiphone and Gibson. He's often seen playing his 1960 Les Paul Burst or his 1960 ES355, which Gibson has actually just reissued an exact copy of it. But interestingly enough, when they're recording What's the Story, Morning Glory, which is a huge album, and they're arguably one of the biggest bands in the world, and he could play any guitar, he chose this Japanese-built 1983 Epiphone Riviera as his number one. And that's all over that album, and you, can, and you saw him playing it live with Oasis all the time. So, I think part of the appeal started with the neck. They went with this, with this slim taper neck, 12 radius, and it feels a whole lot like that 1960, 1960 ES355 or, or Burst. And I know that because I have a 61 ES355, which is, feels just like this. So I think that's kind of where the appeal started. And the guitar just sings. It just has this sort of strange acoustic property to it. You know, great kind of strummy acoustic feel, and yet does the dirt thing really well. And both of those are real big element of, of his sound and the Oasis sound. The basic ingredients were this. Epiphone went with this dark wine red finish, which is just, just beautiful. They went with two of their Epiphone Alnico Classic Pros, which are kind of a, you know, going for a, a PAF, kind of chasing that tone, and I think they do it really well. Um, and, and the thing about chasing the PAF tone, PAFs chase the PAF tone, because they're all different. Some of them are great, some of them are not great. But I think these sound, these hold up with just about anything. They, they are really good sounding pickups. The body is constructed of a five ply layered maple. Um, the, the front, sides, and the back. There's a maple center block in the middle. Graph Tech nut. And the only real bit where he put his signature back there, which is subtle and cool. And amazingly, this guitar retails for $8.99. A, a really reasonable guitar or price for a guitar that you could take out of the case and gig with immediately. In fact, I just, uh, I just picked this up yesterday. I haven't done anything to it and it sounds great. Speaking of a case, it comes with a, God, just a badass solid case. So I love a good case. But why don't I just play it a little bit and you can be the judge. Before I do play it, I'll tell you about my signal chain. I'm going to my modest pedal board and that's run into a Fender Pro reverb that's being mic'd to the 57 and sent out to you all. Interestingly enough, um, no, although he was, he played Marshalls for quite a while, he later changed to, to Fender amps, uh, including the Blues Junior. And in front of that Blues Junior, he ran the Box of Rock, which is what I'm running. So I think there's a pretty, it's, it's a pretty close tone to what he was going for. Uh, this guitar really holds up. Now, uh, I'll just play a bit and you can hear it. To me, my favorite tone on this is both pickups engaged. That to me kind of has that, that, um, that like I said, kind of that acoustic-y property.
just a really sweet tone. But add some dirt to it. That's just a great tone. Um, on the, when you get to the bridge. Just a, a cool, sweet kind of twangy thing to it. You put a little dirt on it. got all that jazzy warm. So congratulations, Epiphone. You really nailed it. This is a this is a lot of guitar at a reasonable price. $8.99 with case at a very gig-worthy guitar. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Instagram, Twitter, all that social media crap. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the magazine. Have it sent right to your uh, right to your house. Hell, buy a T-shirt. Why not? I did. <laughs> it's John Bolger. Till next time.